Okay, in this section of the course, we're going to start to talk about rotational equilibrium. Uh, remember that in uh, regular equilibrium, we had the sum of the forces in the x and the y directions had to be zero. Whenever you add up all the forces in each of the directions and they equal zero, that means you're not going to be moving up and down, you're not going to be moving left and right, you're in equilibrium. Um, in a rotational environment, you also have one more constraint, and that means the sum of the torques in each direction must balance to zero. So not only do you have the sum of the forces in each direction giving you zero, but the sum of the rotations are also going to give you zero, and that would mean that the object is not moving and it is not rotating, so it's in total equilibrium. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Um, in equilibrium, we said earlier that the sum of the forces in the x direction, positive and negative, must give you zero. The sum of the forces in the y direction, positive and negative, must give you zero. And this basically means no translation. And this is just a fancy word that means no left and right and up and down motion. Okay? Now the condition for rotational equilibrium is that the sum of the torques, defined as we have talked about earlier, must also equal zero. Okay? So here is telling you you're not doing any movement, here is telling you that you're not doing any rotation. And it's very customary for, for, for people and for, for me and my problems to take positive torques in this direction, positive torque. So just like in, um, in, in forces, you have to pick up as positive and down as negative. Well, here for torque, you have to pick one direction positive and one direction is negative. So for me, when I'm spinning this way, I'm going to take it as positive torque. And when I spin the other way, I'm going to take it as a negative torque. So first problem is you have a window washer on a scaffolding supported by a rope at each end. Scaffold weighs 200 newtons, it's 3 meters long. What is the 